let's do some signals of the stochastic oscillator. The first signal that comes with the stochastic oscillator is the high bullish momentum. This is when we get like the couple lines to be above the 80 level. Because usually, if you remember, let me let me get back, by the way, um, because I want to show you something. Take a look. Yeah, we have the two lines that fluctuate between two levels. So the, up le the upper level is the 80 level and the, the lower level is the 20 level. So basically, the two lines fluctuate between 100 and 0, where signals are taken above 80 and below 20. So about the signals of the stochastic oscillator, it is very important uh, to know something because uh, in the internet, you're going to find a lot of controversial information. A lot of people are saying that the stochastic oscillator is simply like for, for identifying overbought and oversold conditions. Other people are saying that's totally not true. You know, the stochastic oscillator has nothing to do with this. The stochastic oscillator is about uh, like uh, analyzing market momentum and not about overbought or oversold conditions. This is what other people say. But in fact, what I like, uh, I like to believe in is that the stochastic oscillator is very good for both of these things, for both identifying overbought and oversold conditions, meaning that identifying turning points on the chart and at the same time, the stochastic oscillator is also very good uh, for like, uh, yeah, for identifying very, very high and low momentum on the chart, like combining it like with a with a trend or something. 